To rescue people in big seas, lifeguards must be in top physical shape. But they're always on the lookout for new technology. Harry's is responsible for high-tech buggies, mobile towers and even motorised surfboards. Today, he's investigating a new device, one which could change the future of lifeguarding. Hey, boys. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. How's it going? I'm Harry. Daniel. Daniel, nice to meet you. Hi, Nick. How are you going? Very well. Daniel Smith, a school student from New South Wales, has joined forces with Nick from AirSight Australia to design an unmanned rescue drone. Uh, this is my year 12 design technology project. Um, you know, I've been a surf lifesaver for three years volunteering. Yep. And so I got in contact with Nick, and then I came up with this idea, and uh, he helped me out with it. The drone is designed to fly to a person in trouble and drop a flotation device that keeps them afloat until help arrives. Well, boys, we're a real competitive bunch here. I reckon there's a race coming up. I reckon Freddy's up against our best. Drones have the potential to revolutionise lifeguarding, but are they actually any good? So I thought it'd be a great idea to set a race up and have Reedy on the board, have Dino on the jet ski, and have Mario getting rescued by Fred, the rescue device. All right, so Mario, you've got to head out now. We're going to rescue you, OK? okay? Hop, you're going to judge this, mate. Go uh -huh. It's man versus machine versus flying object. Hey, boys, it's time to run. Jess, you have to start us off. All right, sweet boys, are you ready? One, two, three, go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. That device went up so quick. Reedy hits the water first, followed closely by the drone, then the jet ski. And they're nearly all in a line heading out. The jet ski's racing the drone now. Reedy's left behind. Dino's beating him out. And Dino gets there like a second or two just before they can deploy the device. That was the perfect, perfect scenario just there. That was like only a couple of seconds in between the deployment of, of the, like, the life jacket yeah. to, like, Dean getting to it. The drone does have its place, uh, and one day will probably be a part of the lifeguard service down here at Bondi.